Peterborough City Council is changing. We want to move away from institutional care for adults with learning disabilities to give people the opportunity to live independent lives and develop themselves to the maximum of their potential. This is why we're at the forefront of an exciting development to make things change. We've looked at good practice around the country and in the region to help inform what we can do. There are some very exciting opportunities and developments out there. We're on a journey with parents, with carers, with members of staff to transform the way we work because what a city like Peterborough does and says in the support for learning disabilities tells us a lot about what the city is capable of. We hope you can work with us to actually transform what we have now and to what we could be. Thorough Lifestyle Solutions was set up in 2007 by a group of people with learning disabilities who were supported to form their own community interest company. And the idea was really to set that company up ready to take over what were the internal services run by Thorough Council and as a way of spinning them out into a true service led by people with learning disabilities. Disability is a social construct, right? It's, you have an impairment, so my impairment label might be Down syndrome or something, but what disables me is the attitude of other people. So there's only three ways in which you're disabled, attitude, physical or um, institutional. What's really important to us is that Thorough Lifestyle Solutions wasn't, uh, oh, let's form a social enterprise, it was we have modernised, we're trying to give power away, what's the vehicle that we can use? So social enterprise was the answer to the problem. It, uh, you know, it was literally form follows function. The most exciting part of the journey is seeing the uh, development of our customers from passive recipients of care, sitting waiting to be done to, rather than supporting them to live their lifestyle of choice, to go out in the community, to get jobs, to travel independently, to live independently, to meet partners, to have, to have intimate relationships, to do a whole range of things that we would consider ordinary lives that unfortunately in the old model where people used to attend day services and be, as I say, recipients of support that were actually quite uninteresting and uninspiring, the change in people has been enormous. Their confidence has grown and some of the people we work with, particularly family carers, just don't believe that these things would be possible. That's been great for the, the customer journey has been the most exciting bit. Hi, my name is Sunny Sunny. I'm one of the art directors for Thought Life of Solution. Um, my main um, objective is trying to help uh, a group of friends to be um, more independent. And we're trying to um, support as many of my friends who want um, their choice control of their lives. We're trying to get them out to, to do more, um, more um, to be out to do different activities as well. I'm Anne White. I'm one of the six directors that represents the Lifestyle Solutions. Personally, it's given me more confidence to know that I lost out a lot in my younger days, but I feel the people that are coming behind um, behind me coming up have got a better life in front of them. The people can actually do things that they never dreamed or even the parents must uh, wonder will my son or daughter how will they be going in years to come. They can see the, pro the progress that their sons or daughters have done. I think that's empowering on its own. Hello, I'm Sarah Charlotte and I'm the Chief Executive Officer for Realise Futures Community Interest Company. Realise Futures stands for Real Employment Advice, Learning, Information, Skills and Enterprise. Um, we had somebody who was good at crosswords help, helped us to come up with that one. Um, but the joy of Realise Futures, I think, is that we can take somebody who may be at a distance from the labour market and through the variety of services that we knit together, we can provide careers advice, we can provide a skills health check, we can provide paid work experience, we can provide learning opportunities 
and the individual comes through our variety of businesses depending on where they want to go at the end of it with a really good CV, with a whole bank of relevant vocationally appropriate qualifications um, and with a really good set of work experience examples they can show to another employer supported by a reference from us as a company. We do sign making, we make public space furniture from recycled plastic, we run six cafes, we run a function, functioning catering service, as well as careers advice and community learning. And so we're now quite a, a significant player in the third sector within Suffolk um, and stepping out from the local authority with their support and blessing has been able to give us that chance to prove that we've got a viable business, prove that we can be sustainable um, and prove that we can take a social business and social values, putting something back into the community, into um, the private sector. What challenges were that? I think convincing um, members of, of staff in the local authority, convincing the politicians that this was a safe thing to do, convincing mums and dads who'd got very secure arrangements with their people that they cared for who had been in day services for a very long time that what we were going to do was going to be different but was going to be equally good and was going to make sure that they were going to be equally safe. And the big thing for me I have to say is seeing people who'd spent 20 years in day services suddenly or suddenly transform into over a period of time an individual that had got paid work an individual that came up to members of staff at the Suffolk Show when we were in, in a tent you know, and promoting Realised Futures at Suffolk Show and just came up to somebody else in the tent and I work for this company, this is my company. And that's what I want, that's the idea that people from across the spectrum, whether you're disabled, whether you're learning disabled, want to come into the Realised Futures company. Westcom supported employment was um, has been around for years and years and years and years and years, um, and it offered a service to people with pan disabilities. The issue was that people with more profound learning disabilities were not getting a service that was deserved. There are two real streams to it. There's the sort of mini enterprises that are supported by staff. So we have every, we have a, a car washing business, we have a Royce Rolls business, a sandwich making business, we have um, a kindling where we recycle wood and we recycle cans, we have an allotment and they're all supported in groups and, and run as little micro enterprises. And then we have the job coach scheme whereby the job coaches work alongside people in mainstream employment opportunities. I think there's a lot of fear around um, transport and people accessing transport independently. I think there's a lot of fear around um, not being able to carry out the tasks that have been required in, in work. I think there's a lot of fear about benefits. I think there's a lot of fear about if I can do so and so, people will think I can manage without support. All those are very legitimate fears. And hey, we can work with you on those things because the 120 people we're currently doing it with can say, actually, no, they sorted it. Mm, yeah, I've made mistakes, but I've been supported through those mistakes and this is where I am at now. So carry on, give it a go. This is a really exciting time for us. The opportunities are immense. We're going to work together on this journey to really make change happen for people with disabilities in Peterborough. I just love the job, you know, I'm 23 years nearly and I'm still loving it. I just say, do it. If you're unhappy where you are, you got, if you want to do something that's going to be happier and that's it. You got to do it. Don't be beaten down by, you know, what the system tells you you can't do. It is a turnaround in your life. Um, there is always something that somebody can do, regardless of what they can't do. 